ओके सो लेट्स नाउ सॉल्व फ्यू क्वेश्चन विच आर रिलेटेड टू रैंक सो लेट्स गो टू दिस क्वेश्चन वेयर आई एम सेइंग दैट रैंक ऑफ ए एंड रैंक ऑफ ए स्लैस बी विच मीन्स द ऑगमेंटेड मेट्रिक्स आर नॉट इक्वल देन वॉट यू कैन इन्फर फ्रॉम दिस सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस ओके आई मीन लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस दैट वॉट इज रिलेशन बिटवीन रैंक ऑफ ए एंड रैंक ऑफ ए वी लेट्स सपोज दैट दिस इज ए दिस इज ए एंड देन you bring one one more vector that you are saying b and then you are saying that okay there is something called as ab so let me write ab here only so you say that this is a but you bring one one more vector and then you you are writing that vector as b now when you are bringing one more vector then what are the possibilities i mean let's suppose in a you have three linearly independent vectors suppose okay this 3 is just a just a some number that uh, i'm giving an 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 example and now suppose that you bring one more vector which is b so what's going to happen if you bring one more vector which is b just think about it either this b is linearly dependent on these three vectors or this is linearly independent on these three vectors i mean linear combination of these three vectors or b is completely new vector so if b is completely new vector then in that case what will happen in that case you will say that bringing this b uh, is adding you okay see uh, let me go to the next page what i mean to say i'm not sure if you are understanding here or not so let's just go to the next page so what i mean to say is that you will bring one more vector b in this a if a is having three linearly independent vectors now suppose you bring one more vector b so this b is either linear combination of these three vectors or it is not a linear combination of these three vectors if it is a linear combination of these three vectors then you are not adding anything which means you can say rank of a equal to rank of ab if you are not adding anything if this b is actually a linear combination of these these vectors so see that's very nice thing that this is actually telling you that b is a linear combination okay lc means linear combination i hope that's fine so lc means linear combination or let me write capital l so if you are if you are uh, saying that rank of a and rank of ab are equal then it must mean that b is a linear combination of vectors in a right so that's very nice thing and now suppose that both are not equal which means rank of a is not equal to rank of ab rank of ab then in that case what do you infer in this case you will say if both ranks are not equal it means that b is completely new vector see <coughs> this is the complete matrix ab now if these are not equal then what does this mean it means that you have added something right okay uh, let me again go to the next page see what i mean to say there is one vector that you are going to add now this vector can add the rank by plus 1 or nothing right this vector is b and this is a a matrix so what i'm saying here is that this vector whenever you are bringing can add a rank to plus 1 or it won't add anything which means that rank of ab rank of ab is either rank of a or or rank of ab ab equal to 1 plus rank of a which means it will at most differ by one because there is one more vector that you are bringing in either that vector is basically already included in a which means this is already linear combination of vectors of a or if this vector is new then it will add a rank to one this is going to happen right now here in the second case where uh, if these are not equal then it means what it means that rank of a is basically rank or rank of ab is basically one plus see if they are not equal it means it it uh, this b is actually has added something then it means what it definitely means or vice versa also it definitely means that b is not a linear combination of columns of a okay so this is very important to understand that if both ranks are equal then b has not added anything if both ranks are not equal then actually b has added one vector i mean uh, one linearly independent vector which means b is not a linear combination of columns of a and interestingly let me go to the next page 
interestingly you can infer something from here see this is a this is b now there are two cases one is that rank of a equal to rank of ab another case is that rank of a is not equal to rank of ab so this not equal is actually 1 plus rank of a okay and then equal i mean either you write not equal or you write 1 plus rank of a and then equal both are same now here you can say that b is a linear combination of columns <coughs> columns in a or columns of a okay b is a linear combination of columns of a and here you can say that b is not a linear combination of columns of a right and now if b is a linear combination of columns of a it means that solution exists now you currently don't know whether the solution are infinite or finite but yeah solution exists if both ranks are equal it means that solution exists which means that whatever you are bringing in that is actually a linear combination of columns of a and i can produce that vector then solution exists if whatever you are bringing in is a new vector then solution does not exist right then solution does not exist so that's how you can work with the whole story i hope you understood now let's just try to understand the same thing the same same this thing with the zero non zero concept okay which means that suppose this is a this is a and then you bring one more vector <coughs> which is b now let's just see that what's going to happen if i say rank of a is equal to rank of ab can i say here that 0000 non zero does not exist or something like that can i say does not exist see i can say it why just think about it if both ranks are equal it means what i mean you can maybe try to prove with the backward reasoning or backward reasoning or like let's just say it uh, proof by contradiction which means that uh, suppose suppose this exists which means if 000 000 non zero exists somewhere non zero exists somewhere then this complete matrix will be having one extra pivot right see what is happening here that let me just go to the next page that you are having one matrix which is a and there are some pivots in a right let's suppose this is the pivot maybe maybe there is no pivot here which means that uh, you you can say that okay whatever it is i mean this is star 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 and then maybe maybe there is no pivot here but let's suppose there is a pivot here and let's suppose there is no pivot in this column also which means this could be anything but then this is 0 0 okay suppose 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 this is the case okay which means there are two pivots in a i don't know what are these stars maybe zero maybe non zero there are two pivots in a that's what i know now let's just try bringing a b okay let's just now try bringing a b if you bring a b here then in that case i mean you obviously you must have brought it before uh, this uh, row equivalent reduction uh, or the gaussian elimination but i'm just trying to explain in other way okay so suppose you bring in the b here in that case what's going to happen this b could look like something this okay uh, if both ranks are equal then it means what it should not add any pivot which means that here after this line after this line all must be zero after this line okay i mean uh, b just one vector okay so here you are just going to add a uh, single single numbers okay single single numbers so after this line these two numbers must be zero isn't it or instead of uh, extra uh, i mean uh, multiple zero rows let me just work with one zero row so basically what i'm saying here is that you you bring you bring uh, one more b in that case this must be zero it cannot be a pivot element because ranks are equal so this must be zero see it will depend on this particular element let's suppose i'm currently writing it anything okay maybe maybe some cloud or something so basically or uh, maybe L let me write it uh, like this okay suppose that this particular element is zero then in that case what will happen and if this is non zero then in that case what will happen 
If it is non-zero, it means it is a pivot. If it is zero, then it means both <coughs> both ranks are equal, right? If it is zero, then both ranks are equal. If it is non-zero, then it will work as a pivot. Pivot in the sense that for the complete matrix, if you if you talk about the rank, so for the complete matrix, it will be a pivot uh, pivot element. So if it is non-zero, then rank it will increase the rank basically. So rank of A B equal to one plus rank of A. If it is if it is non-zero, if it is zero, then both are equal. Okay. So see, things are very simple. This was A. Whatever A you take, okay. Whatever A A you take, if you add one more vector. If that vector is actually adding one uh, one pivot, it means that in some if if it see if that that is the case, it means it must be adding the pivot. If both ranks are not equal, it means it must be adding the pivot. It means what? If it is adding a pivot, it means what? That there must be a row where uh, like where in A it is not having any pivot, but in A B it is having one pivot, right? See this rank. Of A B is not equal to rank of A. Let's just try understanding that. What does this mean? See, <coughs> this is basically what I'm saying. You bring one more vector. Okay, if both are not equal, it must mean that this B is actually adding one extra pivot to this complete matrix, isn't it? Extra pivot adding means what? That there was no pivot. in this particular uh, in this particular row there was no pivot at all and then suddenly you have a pivot here right if both ranks are not equal then it means that you have one pivot here let me know if uh, that is clear if both ranks are not equal then it must mean that earlier you were not having any pivot which means all are zero all are zero and then then suddenly you got a pivot right now if both are equal then what will happen if both are equal then earlier also you were not having any pivot okay earlier also you were not having any pivot in some row and now you are adding it is not adding any pivot which means that it is zero only it is zero only so basically the final summary is that final summary is that if both ranks are equal then it means that this b is a linear combination of columns of a because this this b is not adding anything then it must mean that b is a linear combination linear combination of columns of a right it 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 is same as saying so or from here you can directly say it is same as saying that 0010 non zero non zero does not exist and from here also you can you, you can say directly if b is a linear combination of columns of a then if all are zeros and since it is a linear combination then this non zero cannot come here right because zeros linear combination of zeros cannot produce you non zero okay and similarly you can say that if both are not equal then b is not a linear combination okay b is not a linear combination of columns of a it means 0 0 0 if it, uh, if it is not a linear combination of col columns of a it means that 0 0 0 0 non zero exist Okay, I mean Gaussian animation will make sure that zero 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 non zero exist. If B is not a linear combination of columns of A, I mean see, it is not necessary in general. Like you have any 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 vector B, and if it is not a linear combination of columns of A, then you have zero 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 non zero. I mean, uh, it is not necessary in general. But after Gaussian animation, you will find some row like this. Okay. I mean, before the Gaussian animation, it might not be true. Obviously, right? I mean, we are talking about after the Gaussian animation. So this this thing is after the Gaussian elimination. Okay, right? So zero 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 non zero. This row I am talking about after the Gaussian elimination. So now I hope this thing is clear that this B is adding something or B is not adding something. Now let's just answer this question that if both ranks are not equal, it means B is adding something. B is some extra thing. Then no solution, right? 
ओके लेट्स जस्ट डू मोर क्वेश्चन प्रॉब्ली सो हेयर नो सोल्यूशन बट वी कैन डू मोर क्वेश्चन राइट इफ बोथ आर इक्वल देन लेट मी नो वॉट इज द आंसर इट मीन्स मे बी मे बी यूनिक सोल्यूशन मे बी इन्फिनेट सोल्यूशन इट मीन्स दैट बी इज अ लीनो कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ कॉलम्स ऑफ दैट दैस द ओनली थिंग यू कैन इन्फर फ्रॉम हेयर मे बी यूनिक मे बी इन्फिनेट राइट आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड सो दैट इज दैट इज द स्टोरी आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट नाउ नाउ लेट जस्ट सी द अलियर फ्लो चार्ट वी हैड सो जीरो 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 नॉन जीरो एग्जिस्ट एंड देन वी से द इनकन्सिस्टेंट सोल्यूशन इफ इट इज डज नॉट एग्जिस्ट देन वी सेड ओके इफ देर इज फ्री वेरिएबल देन इन्फिनेट सोल्यूशन एंड और अदरवाइज यूनिक सोल्यूशन कैन वी हैव द सिमिलर फ्लो चार्ट फॉर द रैंक लेट जस्ट सी सो सी इफ बोथ रैंक्स आर नॉट इक्वल इट मीन्स बी इज एडिंग समथिंग इट मीन्स इनकन्सिस्टेंट सोल्यूशन राइट और बोथ रैंक्स आर नॉट इक्वल इट मीन्स इट ऑल्सो मीन्स इट सी इट इज जस्ट वन टू वन मैपिंग इफ जीरो 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 नॉन जीरो एग्जिस्ट इट मीन्स दैट बोथ रैंक्स आर नॉट इक्वल सो यू यू थिंक अबाउट द मैट्रिक्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ आफ्टर द क्वेश्चन एडमिशन ओनली ओके इफ जीरो 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 नॉट जी नॉन जीरो एक्जिस्ट इट मीन इट मीन्स वॉट देर इज वन एक्स्ट्रा पेमेंट यू गॉट इट मीन्स दैट बोथ रैंक्स आर नॉट इक्वल सो दिस इज सेम एज सेंग बोथ रैंक्स आर नॉट इक्वल एंड दिस डज नॉट एग्जिस्ट इट मीन्स दैट इफ देर इज अ जीरो अर लियर एंड देन हेयर ऑल्सो इट इज जीरो इट मीन्स दैट बोथ रैंक्स आर इक्वल एक्चुअली राइट बोथ रैंक्स आर इक्वल एंड देन आफ्टर दैट यू विल जस्ट चेक ओके आई मीन अर्लियर यू वर जस्ट चेकिंग फ्री वेरिएबल और नॉट बट आफ्टर दैट यू विल जस्ट चेक वेदर बोथ रैंक्स आर इक्वल दैट इज ओके बट now you have now you have rank that is equal to n which means every column has pivot so rank equal to n means every column has pivot every column has pivot if every column has pivot means what all the columns are linearly independent i mean no column is dependent on anything else there is no no free no free variable right which means if there is no free variable then uh, if i say there is no free variable then it means what it means that all the columns are having the pivot if all the columns are having the pivot then rank must be number of the pivot elements which are number of the columns which is n right so rank must be n don't worry we will solve the questions and after that it will be more clear so see this free variable and the rank are basically very much related if i want to convey this information that free variable does not exist then i convey this information using the rank how i will say rank of a is n it means all columns are pivot column because n is the number of columns and all columns are pivot column so i will say all if if i want to convey that okay free variable does not exist then i will say all columns are pivot column okay i will say uh, every column has pivot which means rank is actually n if i want to convey this information that free variable actually exist then i will say that okay rank is less than n right rank is less than n so i am in the case where rank are already equal then i am talking about whether rank is equal to n or less than n so basically it is one to one mapping which means if you want to convey this information that free variable exist or not you can convey this information using the rank okay using the rank just do one thing i i just request you to uh, you know uh, pause this video or maybe uh, once this video is complete uh, then just uh, just reiterate that uh, why it is one to one mapping and and so on okay just just think about it because it takes some time initially now there are few questions that i will solve in the next video and i will leave these questions to you so 1 2 3 4 these are the four questions i will i will put these four questions in the annotated notes without the solution and then i will be solving in the next video okay